is a tutorial to show you how to install the Spiral plugin for Illustrator CS4. It's on PC. Basic same approach can be used for the Mac as well. Use Applications folder instead of the Program Files folder. Right, now I'm going to just go. The structure I've set up for my plugins is generally Mac plugin for CS4, then also plugin folders for CS3, CS2, etc. etc. Select the one for CS4. You want the PC one, so PC plugin for CS4. So select that, then you will see a spiral.aip. All the plugins are AIP. So you want to select that, copy. Now you want to go to the program files folder, so you go up here, Adobe, then Illustrator CS4, plugins. So plugins hyphen ins. So go to that, and I'm just going to add it to a top level section of the plugins but you basically you could create a subfolder here it would make it easier for cleanup or whatever for trials or whatever just to create a third party plugins folder it doesn't need them. so just paste it in here it now comes up with the admin so I'm using a standard account it might not come up with yours because you might be using an admin account and therefore you can just do it without so I click I have to now enter my Right, enter that, so now it's copied there, you will see it actually in the plugins. Right, so now go to Illustrator, so start up Illustrator, comes through various updating of various things, PDF, uh, SVG, filter effect. Right, so now open a new document, new, click that, OK, object, now object filters this is one change from earlier versions of Illustrator the there used to be a filters menu so but now it's object filters spiral so you can go there so you bring up spiral plugin. spiral plugin will appear it's got various functions tumble tweet tumble basically randomizes the settings all over the place you can catch some really truly extreme spiral designs use it for some really weird abstract designs. Tweak is basically once you've reached a certain point you want to just tweak a few of the settings and it just will go like that. You've got various menus so you can go create, you can place the spiral different positions, spiral at document corner, so you can put it in a document corner, at any document corner, randomize vertical so it will shuffle so you basically can click go various places you can also go through the presets there's a, a variety of presets so that's probably the easiest way to quickly learn some of the features so just run through the presets the jitter ah that's one of the ones with multiple copies so number of spirals 50 so you can basically get just multiple spirals also place spiral anywhere so the spirals are all just filling the entire area of Thing. So, number of spiral arms and all those sort of things. You can randomize many different settings. You can add drop shadows, you can scale in center, you can change, you can turn the designs into symbols, um, you can put them on new layers. Basically, you can just keep clicking OK and go through and create either spirals on multiple layers. So, and also you can change the view of the artboard at that point. There's many other features so you can change the spiral structures to gap base ones which of course fills the entire screen at that point. Spiral structures, different spiral structures. So click OK at that point and end result selection of very unusual spirals. But the spiral plugin can be used in a variety of ways. Once you've of course got that you can then just change the colour if you wish. It's just a normal path so you can change that and change the stroke if you wish. That's it. Basically, that's an easy way of installing the Spiral plugin. Hope you find the tutorial of interest and uh, come back for future tutorials. Thank you much.